So we're going to look at the axillary approach to the brachial plexus. We would ideally have our patient supine with the arm abducted to 90 degrees. Now, I would advise not to counter abduct the arm um, from the elbow to another 90 degrees as this will change our anatomy. We're going to take our probe, place it high into the axilla and scan till we get our optimal image. So some landmarks are going to be the axillary artery and the conjoint tendon. It's a very vascular area in the axilla, obviously at least one artery. Here we have two arteries. We have a small branch from the axillary artery. And if I take the pressure off my probe, we will see various veins opening up. So there's at least three, possibly four veins within this structure. It's very important that we aspirate very carefully when we're doing this block. Now, we are gonna look for our biceps muscle, our triceps muscle below our conjoint tendon, and caracobrachialis is going to house most of the time our muscular cutaneous nerve and in the centre of the screen we can see our muscular cutaneous nerve. As I scan distal and proximal we describe that nerve as swimming like a fish through caracobrachialis. We can see it very prominent here. Now this nerve is part of the lateral cord so if you don't see it as we can see it here then using the nerve stimulator I would stimulate around the median nerve and see if you get that classic elbow biceps twitch, which is going to show you that that is muscular cutaneous, still connected to the median nerve as a low lying lateral cord. Now, we're gonna place our artery into the center of the screen and take off our pressure. When we take off our pressure, we're gonna use our artery, we're gonna reapply pressure, we're gonna use our artery as our landmark. And we're gonna look between nine and 12 o'clock and consistently our, medial nerve, our median nerve will lie on the uh, lateral side of the artery and um, between 9 and 12 o'clock. Between 12 and 4 o'clock we will find our ulnar nerve and between 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock we will find our radial nerve which sits right on top. There's another nerve that we can see on this screen as well, which is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, a very small stru structure sat between the artery and the vein. You can also block that. It's a sensory nerve to the medial compartment of the forearm. There are two other nerves that we will try to target in the axillary brachial plexus block, the intercostobrachial and the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, which cover that area of skin just above the cubital tunnel. Now, in order to block this, we're going to apply local anaesthetic medial to the plexus and into the fascial plane between subcutaneous tissue and muscle. This should hopefully give you some area of coverage for those two nerves. So this is a very good block for uh, surgery from the elbow to the f down to the forearm and the hands. Now, you may choose to do any one of the other brachial plexus blocks depending on your skill level or if you decide that you do not want to move your needle around, I will individually target these nerves. I will choose to block muscular cutaneous first, pass my needle against the conjoint tendon and inject for that to spread underneath the radial nerve, target the median nerve, and then you need to be very, very brave in coming between the vein and the artery to come across to the medial side of the artery and get the, me the ulnar nerve and uh, the anterior portion of the radial nerve. The veins will collapse under hydrodissection, so if you hydrodissect very carefully between those vessels, the veins will move out of your way and you can slowly move your needle between those two structures to catch the ulnar nerve. 